Hey guys, it's Kieran from Server Pro today, back with another tutorial on how to set up Kit PvP on your Minecraft server. So some of you may remember that we have done a tutorial on this plugin previously, however there has been some huge changes to how this plugin works. So we're going to be doing an updated tutorial so you can learn how to set it up on the latest version. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the control panel for your Minecraft server so that we can install the plugin. So once you're on this page, go to the plugins tab on the left hand side, click spigot plugins, and then simply search for kit PVP. And then it should be the first link that pops up and then click install latest. Then once it's installed, restart your server. So now that we've installed the kit PVP plugin, we should install a map as all good kit PVP servers need a good kit PVP map. So let's go ahead and go to this Planet Minecraft link. There'll be a link down in the description below to this map. And feel free to use any map. You don't have to use this one. I'm just using it as an example. And then once you've got it, click Download Minecraft Map. Save it to your Downloads folder. Then go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Click Stop. Wait for your server to stop. Once it's stopped, go to the Farm Manager. Delete your current world or rename it so it's not no longer being used on the server. So I'm just going to call it World Old. Click OK, then click Upload File, and then Choose Files, and then select the .zip that we just downloaded, and then click Upload from Computer. Then once it's uploaded, find the file that we just uploaded, highlight it, and then click Unzip. Then you should see another world folder appear. So once you've got that, go into the world folder and delete the player data folder. So once you've done all of this, you should be able to start up your server. Now that your server has started, let's go ahead and join it. So once you join your server, you should spawn in the Minecraft world that we imported earlier. If you haven't spawned in this or you've run into any problems so far, please contact our support. There'll be a link in the description down below to where you can contact them. However, if you're keeping up, let's go ahead and continue with the setup. So once you're in game, if you run the command slash kp help, you can see all the commands that are available with the new version of kit pvp so first we're going to set up a lobby for our kit pvp server so if you just go to an area where you want the lobby to be set so i'm just going to stand right in the middle here and i'm going to type slash kit pvp set lobby and that will set the lobby location for when players join so now that we've set that let's create a sign for players to join it so i've created this little area over here Usually this will be located in a hub area, for example, or a spawn area. Um, so let's just create a sign and in brackets, put kit PVP in square brackets. And then on the second line, put join. And then it will say kit PVP join. And you'll be able to right click that sign once we finish setting up the plugin. So now that we've done that and we've created a lobby location, we can go ahead and create some entities or Minecraft figures that people will be able to click to join certain game modes. So if you just go to a location where you want your first entity to be, I'm, I want my first one to be here. So I'm just going to stand here and look in the direction. And then you're going to type slash KP set entity. And then you're going to type the type. So for the first one, I'm going to do one verse one. And then that will create the entity for one verse one. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to do one for free for all. So just the same command again, and then put free for all instead of one verse one and that will create the second entity. So once we've finished setting up the plugin, players will be able to click these to join each game mode. So once you've created these, you can create a hologram with different statistics that will be displayed when people join. So I want mine to be on top of this fence post here. So once you're on, in the location you want the hologram to be, type slash KP set holo, and that will set the hologram. So now that we've created all of this, we can go ahead and start setting up the actual spawn points or arenas. So let's go into our arena. So once you're in your arena, let's start creating the one verse one arena. So the first thing that you need to do is type forward slash KP one verse one create arena. And that will create the first arena for one verse one. So let's set the first spawn point. So let's go to one side of the map and type slash KP one verse one set spawn one. And then let's set the second spawn location on the other side of the map. So you can do this just by running the same command, but with a number two at the end instead. So once you've done that, we're basically done setting up the one verse one. We just need to save it. So let's type slash KP one verse one, save arena and then the ID. So the first ID is zero. So if you were to create a second arena, the ID would be one. 
and so on. So once you've saved the arena, that's basically it for the one versus one arena. And let's create a free for all arena. So if you just go to the middle of the map again, and if we type slash KP FFA create map, and then type the name for it. So I'm just going to call it world as this is the name of that world. And then builder. So once you've created the FFA arena, we can set the spawn points. So let's type slash KP FFA set spawn and then the name of the arena. So I called this one world. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. So if we were to go back to where we created the kit PVP join sign earlier. And then whilst we're here, let's just type slash save dash all. And then restart the server before we go ahead, just to make sure that everything's saved correctly and set up. So you can do this by going to the control panel and click restart. Then once it's started back up, go ahead and rejoin your server. So once you've rejoined your server, if we right click the kit PVP sign, you can see that we've now joined it and everything's working as it should be. The hologram is displaying, the free fall, if you were to right click it, it would come up with the arenas so we could join that. And as you can see, I'm now playing with the basic kit. And if I was to leave the lobby, I could just right click this glowstone to go back to the lobby. So the free for all is working and we can also test the one verse one feature. So if you to right click this one, you can see that it's joined the one verse one queue. And if I had another player and he joined, we'd be in a one verse one arena. So you can leave the queue by right clicking the player again. So if we were to take a look, you can see that we've got kits here. So if we right click, you can see there's a wide selection of kits that we can use. And we can also disable or enable these, which we'll look at in the configuration file later. And we can also change the names and the descriptions. But again, we'll look into that later. And you can see that we can also challenge players. So if there was another player on the server, I could right click him with the sword and we should be able to challenge him. So that's basically it. Kit PvP is set up and working. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration files for Kit PvP. So if you just go back to the file manager for your server on the control panel and then go into the plugins folder and then go into the UKIT PvP folder, you can see there are a number of configuration files here. So we're first going to take a look at the config.yml file. So in here, there's a wide variety of different settings that we can change. We can change basic settings here, such as max plays, fall damage, whether that happens or not, whether there's an action bar, whether there's a scoreboard on the right hand side. So if we just go back, you can see on the right hand side here, there's a little scoreboard. So we're also able to enable or disable that, or we can also change how it's displayed. So as you can see, it's got the title and the layout. You can add any text here that you want, as long as you follow the correct format. So in here, you can also change the hologram. So if you remember, we set up this hologram for the statistics earlier. So you can change what's displayed there as well. So feel free to edit that at your liking. And again, the last thing that you can change is this layout for the sign. So if we just leave this lobby, you can see that this sign is what we're referring to. So you can change how this is displayed with custom messages that you could set up here. So once you've made any changes in this configuration file, click save and it should be applied once you restart the server. However, we're also going to take a look at the kits.yml file. So in here, you can disable or enable each kit and you're also able to change the name of them. So if I wanted to change the name of the hunter kit to something else like beast, it would change the name in game and you can change the description. So feel free to update that to however you wish. And also there's a price feature. So this is something we've not uh, gone over yet. There is a points feature in kit PVP, which we haven't covered. So they have their own point system now, which is new to the new version of kit PVP, but you will need one of these extra plugins to be installed for it to work. So you will need game points, points API or player points, or you'll need an economy plugin with the vault installed for points to work. So the way points work is you basically get points per kill, and then you can use those points to purchase kits. So if you are using the, the points system, you can set up these prices so that they work. If you don't have a points thing installed though, um, there won't be any prices for any kits, I don't believe. So once you've set up all the kits, you can click save and then restart your server and that will apply all the changes you've made. So that's basically all we need to know about kit PVP and its configuration files. So thank you for watching. If you have any problems, please contact our support. There's a link to where you can contact them on our website. And also be sure to check the description for all the relevant links to the kit PVP map and the kit PVP plugin and so on in the description below. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you again. Goodbye.